So in a survey of 20 people, in a survey, 20 people were asked how much they spent on their child's last birthday gift. The results were roughly bell-shaped with a mean of $34.7 and standard deviation of 20.2. Estimate how much a typical parent would spend on their child's birthday gift using 98% confidence level. Give your answer to three decimal places. And now they want us to express the answer in this different kind of way. That's what I wanted to show you on this problem. Okay, so how are we gonna do this question? They want us to form a 98% confidence level and we see that they're talking about a mean, right? That's a, that's a mean right there. So we're gonna go to the mean. Let's go to the exam three notes. Here we go. So here's the exam three notes. And um, we're looking, we're gonna be in this, here's mean. And it's this one, right? It's no data given. No data is given on this problem. So we're gonna choose T interval and stats and put in our X bar, S sub X and N. All right, so let's go do it. And so the buttons I'm gonna press, I'm gonna press stat, go over to tests and hit enter. Oh, actually don't need to hit enter. Just go over to tests and then move down all the way down to T. Interval. And hit enter at that point. So you're choosing the T interval and then you want to move over to stats. Highlight stats and hit enter. We're choosing the stats option. And then we're gonna go down and put in the information. It'll say X bar, S sub X, and N. X bar, the average, it's for me anyway, is 34.7. And the S sub X standard deviation is 20.2. The N, the number, 20 people were surveyed. And then the C level, for this one is what, 98%, okay, 98%. So put that information in and I'll do that as well. I'll let you write that down and then I'll do that on the screen. All right, turn it on, here we go, so stat over to test, on down to T interval, hit enter, go over to stats, because we don't have data. We don't have data on this one. Enter, there we go. There's my last problem I solved. Let me go on down. So my, my X bar is 34.7. My S sub X is 20.2. My N is 20. My confidence level is 0.98 and calculate. There it is, 23.23 to 46.17. Um, it's only giving me two decimal points. I guess that's all it takes. But notice something, I want you to notice something. See the X bar right there? That's gonna become very important. See the X bar, 34.7? We need that on this problem. That's the new part I wanna show you about. So we need that number. Let's, let's go back to the iPad and I'll show you what we mean. All right, so the output we got from that is I, it gave me an interval from uh, 23, point, 23 to 46.17. And it told me X bar equals 34.7, right? Okay, so notice what they want from us on this question. They want us to express our answer in the format average plus or minus error. 
That's the other way to say a confidence interval. You can say we're 98% confident it's between 23.3 and 46.17. Let me draw a number line. That might be helpful for you all to see because um, that's what we're really talking about here. So picture a number line, okay? And we're saying that between 23.23 and over here at 46.17, right in the middle is the number 34.7. That's the average, right? That's the middle. That's the middle of 23 and 46. So we're saying we're 98% confident that we're 98% confident that the real average uh, um, birthday money, money spent on a child's birthday is between, you know, the real average that people spend on their child's birthday is between 23 and 46. So we're 98% confident that the real average is somewhere between 23 and 46. That's what that confidence interval means. But there's another way you could say it. And they want us to say it that other way. They want us to say, give, give me the middle, give or take an error amount. So what's the middle? Well, that's 34.7. So here we put 34.7, which came right out of the calculator, 34.7. Just put that right there. Give or take means how far that way and how far that way, right? That's plus air amount and that's minus air amount. Does that make sense? It's the jump from the middle to either edge. That's what we're, that's how we're trying to say this. We're trying to say it a different way. We're saying, look, we think that the average parent spends $34.70 on their child's birthday, but we know there's there's an air, give or take, give or take a certain air amount. How much? How do we find out how much that air amount is? Because we have to we have to put it right there. You see it here? It's it's this jump or it's that jump, either one. That is the air, it's the jump from the middle to the edge. How are we going to find that? The subtract or add from the mean. Exactly. Exactly. Good. So yeah, that's all we got to do. So I would just take the middle, the mean, minus the left. Or you could do the right minus the middle, either one. So that'll be the middle, 34.7 minus the 23.23. Uh, .23. So that's the E amount. And so if you do that, um, I don't know what it is. I'm going to use my calculator here. Uh, 34.7 minus 23.23. I'm getting 11.47. So that's the error amount. That's the jump. Bring that up here. We're done with the question. Does that make sense? So what we're saying, we're saying the same confidence interval. We're just saying it a different way. Is this making sense? This, this is important because in real life, they're gonna say it both ways. And you're gonna read, being part of a living in the 21st century, we have statistical information pouring into our ears all the time. So they will say, we are 98% confident that the real average parent spends between 23 and $46 on their kid's birthday. Or they'll say, we're 98% confident that the average parent spends 34, what is this, 34.7. Uh, there's an error margin is how they usually say it of $11.47. That means the average could be $11 higher. It could be $11 lower. We think the average is 34.7, but we realize there might be an air margin. There is an air margin of 11.47. So the real average might be up to $11 higher than that, right? That's 46 or $11 lower than that. That's 23. So the average is 34.7 with air margin, give or take $11.47. So do you see how we figured that out? We just took the normal confidence interval and the average the calculator got it, gave us, put that in the middle, and then just subtract middle minus left. That'll give you the error margin to put right there. There we go. Questions on that? Yeah. 
You can also subtract the right if you wanted to and get the same answer. Correct. correct. Yeah, you could take the right number here and subtract the middle, and you would get the exact same number. Exactly. Good job. Or the middle minus the left. Either way, totally right. Good thinking. 